Joining me now, the longtime former head coach of the Maryland Terrapins, Gary Williams. Gary, I see you're in a newsroom. Tell Maryland Terrapins fans what you're doing right now. Well, I'm doing some things for Comcast, and uh, they've been nice enough to uh, let me comment on uh, basketball, mostly college basketball, and it's really enjoyable. It's uh, really different than when I was coaching, but, uh, you know, you, you, you realize now that uh, when you watch games, you have all the answers, <laughs> and uh, you wish you had those answers when you were coaching. Now, I know you obviously had to answer a lot of reporters' questions. You might have gotten tired of it a time or two. How does it feel to be on the other side now? Well, I, I think everybody has a job, and that's what you have to realize when you're coaching, that uh, people are trying to do their jobs. Uh, now there's so many more people involved in that business with the bloggers and sports talk radio and all those things that uh, there's more people to deal with. But at the same time, you know, as long as things are accurate and uh, you get a chance to respond, I think most coaches are satisfied uh, in the media situation. So you're seeing a lot of games now, breaking down a lot of tape. Do you get the itch to coach again? There's there's things I miss in coaching, without a doubt. I, I really miss the uh, companionship you have with the players, uh, the locker room, uh, getting ready for a big game, uh, the, the feeling you have uh, when you walk out on the court. Uh, but there's some things that I, I don't miss also. And I was fortunate. I had a job for 44 years. And, uh, you know, you're, you're lucky to, to get that far in coaching. And uh, I had experienced some great things. So um, I can – be very uh, content with the fact that I was fortunate to do something that I, I love to do uh, my whole working career. Obviously, now you probably have more time to do things like golf, right? That's the other advantage. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter. You don't get any better. As you get older, you, you know, whatever better you get, you, you lose it by your, your getting older. So, But it's, it's, it's still something you can be competitive in. It's a lot of fun. Sure. You know, we were talking here in the newsroom about all the great Maryland Terrapin teams you've had over the years. Could you put together a starting five of the guys you coached when you were at Maryland? Well, that'd be hard. Uh, I was fortunate, as you said, to, uh, to have some, not, not just great players, but uh, great people. If, if you look at the talent, and certainly Joe Smith, uh, he was the uh, number one pick in the draft uh, after two years, sophomore of the year in the country. Uh, Steve Francis was the second player taken in the draft. He only played one year for me, but... Well, it was a great player and great to be around. And then the championship team, guys like Juan Dixon, um, Lonnie Baxter, uh, Steve Blake, uh, people like that. They were, they were, they were just uh, tremendous competitors and tremendous players. A guy like Chris Wilcox still playing with Celtics. And when I first got to Maryland in 89, Walt Williams was really important to our program because he kept us competitive in a time where we had some uh, things going on there that we had to work our way through. And uh, with it, without Walt, we probably would have never been able to do the things that we did do. Gary, not only were you a longtime coach at Maryland, you were also a graduate there. How do you feel about Maryland leaving the ACC? Well, I have feelings. Uh, I played at Maryland uh, and uh, back when South Carolina was uh, part of an A-team uh, league. And, you know, certainly having coached there for 22 years and having that opportunity, I, I have strong feelings about how great a conference the ACC is and was uh, during the time I, I was there. And uh, to, to go away from that, it, it's tough, but I always have those memories. Uh, our games against Duke, Carolina, the, the opportunity to co coach against Dean Smith, Mike Krzyzewski, Bobby Kremens, you know, Roy Williams, people like that is something that, uh, you know, never goes away. That, that's always uh, in my mind. This, we're seeing a lot of this across college sports. I mean, Syracuse, Pitt, Notre Dame, Louisville are all at various times coming into the ACC. What do you think of conference realignment? Well, I, I, I think, like all fans, if, if I can be a fan now, all, all fans yeah. wish their rivalries would stay the same forever. Um, that, that would be great. But the way things are now in college sports, it's, it's, it's such an unusual time. I, I never thought I'd see the things that are going on now. You see in Nebraska go to the Big Ten. You, you, you see all kinds of moves. Uh, teams from one coast being in a conference on the other coast. Uh, that would have never happened. But, you know, obviously a lot of these things are – conferences situating themselves for football contracts, things like that, where the money is. And uh, it, it's, it's a matter of life today in college sports where somebody has to pay the bills. And I think a lot of it uh, comes down to that. What's the best way, what's the best position for your school to be able to run a total program where everyone's treated with the best equipment, the, the, the best uh, things that are available to any student athlete. Certainly a challenge right now for every school. Gary Williams, appreciate you taking some time out to talk to us. Thanks. Hey, thanks very much. I appreciate it.